Hi everybody, how are you guys all doing? I hope that you guys are all doing amazing today. My name is Tracy and you're watching me here at Tracy Monster on YouTube. You can also find me at Tracy Monster Savings on Etsy, PayHip, and Instagram where you'll find a ton of really super fun money savings challenges that will help those of you who are looking to add to your sinking funds or for those of you who are looking to pay off debt or for those of you who are looking to save money for the next big purchase that you have coming up in your life. But before I get started in today's video, I always like to start my videos off by saying thank you to each one of you for taking the time to click on that play button and giving me the opportunity to share these types of videos with you. So thank you so much for being here today, and thank you so much for being a part of my YouTube community. With that being said, let's go ahead and dive on in into today's video because I need to cash stuff for two weeks, which is November week one and also November week two. So let's go ahead and let's get started. So the first savings challenge that I'm going to be stuffing is my Blacklight Monsters savings challenge where I'm trying to save at least $1,000 inside of my album. So let's go ahead and open it up and see where I need to do all my stuffing. So my $1 are done, so that's perfect. Um, when I am done stuffing for last week and this week, I will have a total of $872 saved so far. So that's awesome. Um, as far as the $5 go, um, I needed to stuff $25 um, worth of fives. So I'm going to color these in really quick. I need five fives. So I'm going to go ahead and color this in really, really quick. There's two, three, four, one more, four, and then five. So $25 is going to be going into this cash envelope here. Okay, so we have one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so let's go ahead and put that right in here. And then for tens, we're going to go ahead and finish off our $10 page. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, ten dollar bills. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and eleven. I think that's what I said, right? Eleven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, ten or eleven. <laughs> eleven ten dollar bills. <laughs> All right, so there we go inside of there. And then what I'll do is at the end of this month or once I get done with this album, whichever comes first, uh, I will be verifying all of the cash that's inside the album to make sure that what I have on these trackers and on my register right back here, um, that I have all of the money that, uh, that I say that I should have inside my envelopes. So this will be a, give me a little bit of time to fill these in because um, there's a lot. <laughs> and then once I'm done filling in or um, filling in these bubbles, then I will be completely done stuffing all of the $10 inside of my cash envelope. So that is really exciting that I was able to finish off another envelope. And I think I was like just shy over $100 left to stuff so that's even more exciting because when I started this it was uh, I think in like in October so uh, I'm so happy that it's taken not too long to stuff a thousand dollars inside this uh, little album here so I'm hoping to be able to get all of my savings challenges done and complete uh, before the end of the year, if not by the last week at the latest. Um, all of my savings challenges that I'm saving, that I've been saving for all of this year, um, goes towards things that I'm saving actually for, for next year. So I am kind of like one year ahead, if you will. And, uh, so, uh, Christmas is already paid for and all of that stuff because I saved last year for this year. So anyways, okay, so those are all of my $10 bubbles and those are all now filled. $20 are filled. And then I have this last page here. So I have a $1 there and then I also have a $20 right there. So let me go ahead and fill that out. So I have that filled in. 
perfect. It's very exciting. Yay. All right. So that one is complete. The next savings challenge that I am going to be saving with is the Fala La 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 Christmas Savings Challenge book by Budget Sing Chaos. And with this one, I did do the Dizzy Elves. There's 18 envelopes. And when I'm done filling all 18 envelopes, I'll have $171 saved for this one. So I flipped over this card. That's $2. So uh, that's $2 saved there. I think I might have to. Yep, I got to fold it that way. Okay, perfect. So that will be $2 inside of there if it'll fit with me tri folding it. And it does. Yay. Okay. And then $3 is going to go in that one there. So there's $3. And then we're going to tri fold it and stick it in right there. That's the number three envelope or uh, pocket. And then we had $17, so there's 10, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, going into its little pocket. And then we have 18, so there's 10, 15, 16, 17, and 18. And that will finish off the Dizzy Little Elves challenge. And then also inside of this album, I have um, Gingerbread House. Let me, come on, go in there. <laughs> All right. And then the next one, I have the, uh, the Gingerbread House. And on this one, I had a total of, so three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So here's my $10. And it's going in right back here in this pocket back here. Perfect. All right. And then um, so that I can actually keep track. Let me go ahead and cross out all of the gingerbreads that I just saved for there. All right. And then this one, I have the snowman mystery. And on this one, I needed to save... Uh, gosh, okay, let's see. We have 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 16, 20, 25, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 34, 34, 34, plus 6 is 40 dollars. So 40 dollars will be going in for the snowman mystery. All right, let me just verify that on my tracker um, on the on the back of uh, right back here. Give me just a second. Okay, I just want to make sure that it is supposed to be $40. So move this out of the way. Look at the tracker. Snowman was 19, 19 plus 21. Yeah, $40. Okay, perfect. I had it right. Okay, so um, let's go ahead and mark those out to show that I finished those just like that. All right, perfect. Actually, you know what? Let me go ahead and cross it. So sort of just a, we'll do that. That way it's easier for me to see. All right, so that takes care of the snowman mystery uh, roll and scratch. Okay, so that takes care of the um, Follow La 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 Christmas Savings Challenge book. And now let's go ahead and take a look at the iPad for the savings challenge that is on there. Give me just a moment to get that savings challenge up and rolling. Okay, so um, let's see. We have the Cheeky Little Sloth. And with cheeky little, the Cheeky Little Sloth, it was $5. Oh, I need to get my binder. Wait just one second. Okay, I needed to get this binder because it has my cash envelopes inside. So that's what I was missing. I was looking at my workstation being like, what am I missing? I'm missing something. Okay, so $5. So here is my $5 for the cheeky little, uh, the cheeky sloth. And that is right here. $5 going in. And uh, let's see, let me get my pencil so then I can highlight 
that I saved on those ones. So copy, and then I'm gonna paste right there. And then I'm gonna do another one right here for the $1, right there. All right, perfect. Okay, so $5 is saved with the cheeky little sloth savings challenge. Perfect. Okay, so um, let me put that right there for just a moment with the envelope. All right, the next one that I'm gonna do is the 52 week money savings challenge. Man, this is all like all in disarray. Let me see, let me just rearrange these just really quick because I feel like, because I, I don't know what I did. <laughs> My workstation isn't what, it's, what it normally looks like. I was all thrown off. Okay, so these go right here. All right, now we're, I think we're back to normal here. Okay, so um, the next one is the 52 week reverse challenge where I'm trying to save $1,378. And I see a sun glare right here. So let me see if I can get rid of that really quick. Okay, there we go. Just a little bitty twist of the blinds and it fixed it. Okay, so the 52 week reverse challenge trying to save $1,378. So we are stuffing $45. No, I'm sorry. We are stuffing $8 and $7. So the $8 will go for week 45. So let me get the $8. There's five, six, seven, and eight. So let's go ahead to in let's go ahead and get to week 45 here inside of my cash envelope binder. And here's my week 45. I'm depositing $8. That now brings me up to a balance of $1,350. All right. And then um, I will color that in here in just one moment. And then we did week 46. And with week 46, I needed to save uh, $7. So there's five, six, and seven dollars there. It's my binder again. All right, so week 46, seven dollars going in. That now gives me a balance of $1,357 saved with the 52 week reverse challenge. So that is that one there. Let me go ahead and color in my images to show that I successfully saved for these last two weeks. Right there. All right, there's that one. And then color this one in. The sun is really glaring into this room. I can feel the heat. Um, and it's not really hot outside. I think my body is just overheated right now. Not really sure why. Well, probably cause, cause of, uh, because of hormones or something like that. Who knows? <laughs> I always seem to be hot all the time. I think it has a lot to do with my age. Okay, so there is the $7. Okay, so that is the 52-week reverse, uh, reverse challenge. Okay, the next one that I have here is Sushi Roll from Lisa Grateful Me here on YouTube and the ha Happy Mailbox Co. from... Etsy, um, I needed to save $30. So for last week, it was $20. And then for this week, it was 10. So a total of 30. So there is 20. And there is 30. Going in for sushi roll. I'm actually just going to put the cash back here. And then I'll just leave the sushi roll out. Um, because I'm going to be using it again. Well, actually, you know what? I'm going to actually put it away. <laughs> That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it away because um, I will be coming back from um, my uh, Thanksgiving holiday, spending with family, and I don't want this to be floating around. So anyway, okay, so I'm going to put that there. That one's done. And then we have the Etsy sales by state. That one, I did not look at my um, my sales to see if there were any new sales for from Alaska or South Dakota. So uh, for the Etsy sales by state, it still remains as zero savings. Okay, the next one here is Bunko Against Time, and I needed to save thirty dollars for last. I'm sorry, thirty seven dollars for last week and then $55 for this week. So that is a total of $92. So there's 50, 
70, 90, 91, and then $92 for the Bunko Against Time. All right, so there's that. And I'm going to highlight that I saved for those two weeks, and I already colored those ones in. Oh, no, I didn't. I didn't mark my, uh, circle my numbers there. Now they are. <laughs> A little late, but they are colored in. <laughs> so on Bunko Against Time, I only have four games left to play, and then this challenge will be complete. Okay, next savings challenge I have here is the $1,000 savings challenge where each cat paw is worth $20. This one is called Cats Rule the World, and I need to stuff $40. So there is 20 and there is 40. So I will be coloring in two of my cat paws. Right there. Okay, perfect. So that one goes inside of this envelope here. And in fact, I need to write down uh, my, write down on my tracker, week 45 and week 46, putting in $40. So that now brings me up to $940 inside of my cash envelope. Okay, there we go. We are so close to $1,000, to $1, only three cat paws to go which also equals out to be $60 left to stuff. So super, super exciting. All right, so with the save the change, um, I've already put the change into place um, earlier in the week. So I'm just gonna go ahead and color in that the change has already been saved. So um, that's two images worth. So one week I saved $1.61. And then this last week, I was able to save uh, $1.53. Uh, where's my pink marker? I want my pink marker right here for the bag. And then this one. And then the orange for the bills. All right, perfect. So that is with Save the Change. The next savings challenge that I have here is round it up and I needed to save $10 for last week and four from this week. So that's a total of $14. So there is 10, 11, 12, 13, and $14 with round it up. And here is my fancy envelope <laughs> right there. And we are going to color in these two areas right here, these little rectangles for week 45 and week 46. All right, perfect. So there we go, that is rounded up. All right, the next thing that we're moving on to now that all of my savings challenges are completely done being stuffed, as you can see, there's no more cash up here, which is awesome. That means that I was able to successfully save for this week. Going based off of this tracker here, these are all of the savings challenges that I did for week one, all of the savings challenges that I did for November week two. So when what on these trackers, as you can see, um, they also have the amounts of how much I saved and how much I was able to save overall per week. So then um, what I do with these trackers is I will get these amounts and I will carry them over to this savings tracker here and I will write the amounts in the week. So in this case, week one is there and week, week week two is there. When I'm done with every single week in the month of November, I will come back to this tracker, I will add all of those amounts up and that will give me my grand total of how much I save for the entire month of November. Once I have that amount, then I'm going to carry that amount over to this savings tracker and I will write that amount here where it says November. Once I'm doing that every single week and every single month, at the very end of the year, I will come back to this tracker and I will add all of those months up and that will give me my grand total of how much I saved for the entire year of 2023. So that's the way that I work all of my savings trackers and all of my savings challenges. If you have any questions below, then definitely hit me up in the um, comments down below 
or you can also message me over on Etsy and I can answer any of those questions for you over there. I also have my PayHip store, which is payhip.com backslash Tracy, uh, Tracy Monster Savings. So um, that's where you can find these trackers right here because the file for Etsy is just way too large. So if this is something that you're looking for that is already predated with the months and the weeks, then you will want to head over to my pay hip shop to pick these up. If you're looking for just a generic, uh, just a black ink uh, uh, trackers where you have to write in the months and write in the weeks yourself, then you do have that option over on Etsy and Etsy only for those trackers. So just type in the search trackers and then you'll see the different ones um, that will come up. There's also a category on the side of my Etsy that says trackers as well. So anyways, everybody, that is it for the day. Thank you so much for being here all the way to the end. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, then please do not forget to click on that like button. And if you're new to this channel and you like the content, then please don't forget to subscribe. Click that notification bell. That way is whenever a new video goes up on this channel, then you'll be given a notification. So anyways, everybody, have a great, great, happy, wonderful Thanksgiving coming up. I will be taking a break to spend time with family. And uh, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, I will see you guys very, very soon when I return back to this channel and back to, uh, to doing what I do here. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching. Bye-bye.